Karen Duggan had good results in the end, 4-0, puts you top of the table, you've got to be happy? Yeah, I mean, it's only three games in, we wouldn't be getting ahead of ourselves. Um, obviously with our first half performance, we know that there's a lot to work on, but Sligo are definitely an improving team. I was really impressed with how they set up in the first half. They had their space and right, they put us under a lot of pressure, so we need to learn to deal with things like that better. So yeah, we're top of the table, but we're under no illusions that uh, of grandeur or anything like that. We know there's a lot to work on this week. Big week coming up with bows and shells. So um, we're just happy to get out of here with three points. In terms of the uh, I suppose personal battles, I came up against Casey Howe, new to the league. Uh, what would you make of that matchup for the first time? Yeah, she's quality feet. I mean, if you dive in, she's gone. Um, or you're getting a yellow card. So I think if they could have gotten more ball to her, they might have even have had more success. So it's kind of difficult as well to get that balance right if they're playing two up top um, between winning the battle and trying to get the ball to her. Um, but yeah, she's one of the up and coming stars. And I think that there's a lot coming up. I mean, we brought on two 17 year olds today and they contributed a huge amount, um, Jess and Ellen. So it's, it's kind of scary how good some of the younger ones are coming through. It makes me feel very old. <laughs> Does, do, do you look at the technical ability of these youngsters coming off a treadmill out of the academies, um, back to when you were that age and maybe the, the pool of players just been that much bigger? Yeah, it's so funny that you say that. I literally was speaking to Jess and Ellen in the dressing room and I was saying, so they're going away next week, obviously playing France and they're going there with an idea that they could win that, that probably wouldn't have happened when I was playing I was just saying that their technical ability and the amount of players playing compared to when I, I was playing it's it's comp night and day um, and the amount of those girls who will continue the whole way through we had such a massive drop off after 17s and 19s and I just don't see that happening now because um, there's a, a better pathway for them uh, to stay involved in football and to go abroad or hopefully at some point maybe play professional in this league so um, yeah I just completely agree that basically <laughs> the pool talent is better and bigger um, and it's brilliant to see. It took almost an hour today to get the breakthrough. Um, what was the difference in that last 35 minutes or so uh, that saw you put the sword to Sligo 4-0? I mean the win played a factor in the first half. It felt like we couldn't play our passing game. Um, I think we got our distances and our press a lot better in the in the second half um, and we, we felt like on the press it was nearly like third gear. We were second to react in the first half. Um, and we needed to gather ourselves and kind of cop on a bit and, and that's all it was. It was just tuning in that split second quicker. You can see it makes all the difference. Like We were a completely different team in the second half and all it was was being that little bit more tuned in. So we have to look at why we weren't like that in the first half, but really, really good in the first half. It's second half. I thought we were really clinical as well. Um, different goal scorers, great to see because obviously we lost a lot of firepower. A lot of people are commenting on that, but I wouldn't be too worried now that the girls are off the mark now. Um, I think there'll be a lot more goals in them. I think people will talk about it a bit less now that you're top of the league after a couple of games. Yeah, it's only a couple of games <laughs> in now. This is, like I said, it's a really big week. We have two games this week. Um, so if you lose the two of them, you're, you're right back down. But if you win the two of them, keep the momentum going, it'd be brilliant. And that's what we're, we're trying to do. Obviously, there was a Dublin derby today, so points were taken off each other, which goes in our favour, I suppose. But again, it's such early days, there's no reading into it. Absolutely. Well, listen, congratulations today. Thank you so much.